Hello, Central Catholic. It is Friday, May 22nd, and it is the end of the school year. Wow, what a school year it has been. Congratulations, you did it. And so I'm incredibly proud and just grateful for all the work uh, that our parents and students put into this fourth quarter, uh, which can only be described as unprecedented. And I am um, really in awe of the work that our faculty and staff has done as well. Um, really all navigating, all parties navigating a situation that none of us uh, ever could have imagined, maybe as recently as you know six months ago, um, to really trying to make something work for all those involved. So just thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hard to believe that today we would have been cleaning out lockers and um, getting ready for the next school year in a lot of ways. Um, and so while uh, we're not physically there cleaning out lockers, um, I will tell you we are hard at work getting ready for next school year as well. And as you know, we have uh, put out a message uh, this week, our board did, uh, about returning to school next year, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing all of our wonderful students and families and faculty and staff back uh, at Central Catholic. Um, it's so important. It's so important to be together, uh, to have some semblance of normalcy. Um, now, what that looks like, there's a lot of questions, and uh, I can assure you that we're working hard uh, to keep everyone as safe as possible, and uh, safety and health is our number one priority. Uh, but as we uh, look at what uh, a new kind of set of guidelines will be for classrooms, uh, for classroom use, uh, what does that all mean and look like? Um, we're working hard to get those details ironed out um, to make sure that you all have that information in a timely manner. But we do look forward uh, to returning to campus um, with students and faculty members there uh, and engaging in what we all know and love is um, kind of walking those halls and the, the feeling of being inside Central Catholic. Um, I also want to just talk about uh, this summer, um, I know you'll be receiving um, additional information from our athletic department. Um, there's uh, kind of a constantly evolving nature uh, to the information we're getting from the Ohio High School Athletic Association. So a lot of questions have come up about what is going to happen with whether students can train, train on campus, uh, what does that actually mean? Um, so uh, just stay tuned. Um, we'll provide additional guidance on that. Uh, things at times uh, from uh, the administrator standpoint can feel very contradictory. So I uh, appreciate your patience as we sort through uh, uh, what feels like every day a little bit of more, a little bit more, a little bit more uh, information uh, as it relates to um, uh, sports in the, in the state, but uh, all those decisions will be guided by the health uh, of our of our uh, both our students and our coaches as well. Um, I did receive quite a few positive comments about these weekly video updates just being a, a nice kind of quick five minute summary of the important things. So I do plan to keep doing these throughout the summer. Uh, maybe have a summer or maybe a Friday I skip one or two, but uh, overall we'll uh, we'll try to keep these rolling uh, into the summer as many things will continue to change uh, in as we uh, really are looking forward to a, a new way of looking at education, but an important um, uh, important time as well to show that uh, we're strong and proud and ready to take on those challenges. Uh, as was sent out last week uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, May 26th, 27th, and 28th, we have our book return, uh, technology return, and locker cleanup days as well. That information will be resent today uh, to students uh, and families as well. If you didn't already, you could see that in Irish Community uh, that was sent out and also it was sent last week via school messenger. Uh, but I'll be sending that out again to our students. Uh, and you have assigned times and we do need you to wear a mask when you come to campus as well. Um, I also cannot wait for graduation on Monday, May 25th at 7 p.m. Our graduation ceremony along with baccalaureate mass will premiere on YouTube. Uh, that link will be mailed, uh, emailed, excuse me, out to our entire community, um, most likely early Monday morning. Uh, you'll have that link. It'll also be available on our, all of our social media platforms and at the top of our website. And feel free to share that with uh, those around the world. Uh, maybe those who normally wouldn't be able to come to a graduation ceremony can now attend as well. So we encourage you to be a part of that virtual ceremony um, where we were able to get all of our seniors uh, into the building 
film a small session with each of them, but you'll also hear speeches from our uh, valid Victorian and salutatorian, and this year we had the very unique situation of having two heritage speakers, um, because despite five tiebreakers, uh, they were still tied. So uh, you'll hear from those four students, myself and Father Kidd, uh, during Monday night's live premiere. So can't thank the team enough who put all that together. Uh, it truly does take a village uh, to pull off those types of events. So thank you for the ongoing support. Know of my love and prayers for all of you and your families, and a special way over Memorial Day weekend. I'm incredibly grateful for all those who have sacrificed for our country. Um, as the son of a vet, uh, I also thank my dad for his service and um, all those uh, in your lives. I ask you to do the same. So God bless and go Irish.